Sending out. You know, we're here in the Philippines. Our main event should be a good one tonight. 12 rounds in a light heavyweight division. This should be a good one. Both fighters say they are primed, coming off a very intense and passionate training camp. All right, gentlemen. Protect yourselves at all times. Get a fight like this. Everybody's been talking about it. It's always so interesting to see these opening moments here in round number one. Keep moving. <laughs> That's a well-scored left hand by Magnifico. Rushers are able to move away from that punch. A smart move right there. He was hurt, but then he held on. Absolutely open move, a bad move by the fighter who was having him hurt. Taking a little step back. He is not in good shape. He could be on the deck in moments. Boy, he was damaged, but now he's defending himself well. Oh, good exchange there. Keep it up. He missed by a mile. That wasn't even close by Magnifico. That's a good block by Crusher. Teddy, early on here, you cannot stress enough how much good comes from going to the body. And you can't see times you heard your parents tell you as a kid, Put that change into the piggy bank because it's going to add up. Well, body punches add up. That early on here between these two, can't see the distance with this pace. No, not unless something changes, like moving their heads a little bit. Final 10 seconds of round number one. This round comes to an end, and Teddy, easy to note here that he wasn't landing a lot of punches. Now he was throwing them up, but he wasn't landing a lot. Is that because of his opponent's defense, or is he just not that accurate of a puncher? No, it's a combination. First of all, his opponent's pretty slick in there, pretty good at bobbing, weaving a little bit, slipping a little bit, making himself a difficult target, but his punch is a little wide. Keep Needs to shorten them up. Now, right? I just I need you to focus and keep your hands up, keep working and jab. Magnifico's recovered nicely here. The start of this round, and he is proving to me at least that what happened in that last round is having no effect on this round. He missed with that headshot. Not much action as he just ties up. Blocks the headshot. Good double jab by Crusher. Nice work, the left hand to the head. Able to block that away, it was targeted for his head. Fight. 
He fires back a right hand of his own. Blocks that punch. Halfway through this round. Nice block that time. It was intended to the head. Good right hand by Magnifico. Able to counter that attack. Locks away that headshot. Not the most accurate uppercut you'll see. Magnifico's damaged by a right hand. Right on the mark with the hook up top. So he decides to go down. Big, big shot comes crashing home. He goes down. Oh, he may be close here. Can he survive the round? Hard to prepare for a situation like this, but many do. He's been down, now he's got to survive. So that's where you're wrong. It's not hard to prepare, it's a must to prepare. If you're a trainer, that's what you do in the gym. You teach a guy, if you're in this situation, this is what you do. You grab on, you move your head, you survive. Relax, relax. Round comes to an end. Relax, Knockdown relax. was scored in that yeah, round. So Teddy, you're working the corner of the guy who was just on the floor. What are you telling him? You're telling him that if he's breathe been breathe down breathe. before, you want to actually use that for a positive. I know that sounds crazy, but you say, hey, you've been here before. You've overcome it. You want to remind them that he can get back. And then the most important thing, Joe, is you tell him why he got dropped. So when he goes out there, he's not just scared going into a dark place saying, gee, it's going to happen again. He knows he has control. Magnifico's bounces back in his step. Start of a new round coming off of a round in which he really took some punishment. Left and right. Left a shooting right. right hand by Magnifico. You see him holding on. Accuracy an issue there. Didn't land that straight right hand. Magnifico's defense. Is it ever good? Look at how easy he's able to block those punches. Double up your punches. A little give and take, and here comes the left hand. Magnifico's got the mentality right now of fine. Bombs away. He went down earlier, and now he sees this as his only way of getting back in this fight. Yeah, he's behaving like a guy out in the street. And that's okay for a guy out in the street. You get desperate, you act a little amateurish, you just start throwing bombs hoping to get rid of the guy. But it's not okay if you're a professional fighter. He's going to pay a price for this. He tried to nab him up top, but was unable to connect. With an uppercut. Oh, man, he's in rough shape after absorbing that blow. He just missed that shot up top. You got this one. 
And he just holds on there. Takes one to give one. He comes back with a right hand. Seconds to go in this third round. Come on, get focus. Look, you're standing straight up. Move that body. You need to move that body. Relax, relax, you're okay, you're okay. Keep your hands up. You can keep them up, all right? I mean, you know, he caught you with your hands down. Start of round number four, but an interesting fight so far. Crusher's losing this fight one round to two, but keep in mind, the one round that he won, he scored a knockdown. See, well, in golf, they say you have to have a short memory. In boxing, sometimes a long memory. He must remember. He can hurt him. He can get back in this. Really frustrating his opponent now. Magnifico is so defensively sound, it doesn't make for an easy target. No, it doesn't. And it makes for a very frustrating night for his opponent. I see his opponent now, if you know, getting a little tentative. He's afraid to let the punches go because when he misses, he's worried he's going to leave an opening. Needs to improve that accuracy, miss with the headshot. It's much too early for him to be hearing this kind of analysis, but it's true. Crusher's punches right now are slowing down. He's tired. Yeah, and I'm wondering if he's mentally tired, he's discouraged, or physically he didn't put the work in. Turns over that hook upstairs. Question becomes, after that knockdown, and he has gotten up, how does he survive? So one of the ways he survives is if he's been taught. Have good habits, have good fundamentals been put there. You're going to find out right now, he needs them right now. Off to the side, a little swing and a miss going upstairs. Good block there by Crusher. Zones in on that overhand right. There's the headshot, but he parries it away. Not able to land the uppercut. Nice block by Crusher. Get in there! Gets rid of that effort. Ten seconds to go in the fourth. So he okay. scores a knockdown okay. in the last round. Good. Now he gets to settle Good. down and Deep gather himself now. a bit. You do you go open. after it? Do you Throwing get super aggressive wide. here Keep having tight. had your man hurt? Or do you still have Keep to good. employ a certain well, amount of caution? It's kind of like more. being at the carnival. You know, you just you just hit the bullseye and you got that big, big stuffed animal you can give to your wife or your girlfriend. But now he doesn't want you to go away with that. Oh, no. No, no. Oh, he tells you, wait a minute, try again. You could trade that in for something either bigger. But you might lose the one you have already. 
That's the question. As we start a new round, I pose this question to you. Is there any hope for him? He's look, been knocked down numerous times. Today. Look, there's been great comebacks in this sport. There's always hope. You don't know how deep a man's reserve is inside their soul, inside their mind. But dangerous grounds now to find out. Well off the mark by Crusher. Good defense upstairs to stay away from that offensive assault. How about that exchange? How about that left hand? Do you see any way in which he can take his opponent's aggression and turn it against him? Yeah, the perfect way. I mean, boxing 101, counter punching. You got a guy coming at you, no better way than to change his mind. Make a miss, make him pay. Magnifico's defense did a good job there, able to avoid that punch. You're doing great. Still plenty of time to work here in round number five. A minute and a half to go. Back to the body. Rusher is almost looking foolish that time he missed so badly. Keep working the body. You're doing great. Able to get away from that headshot with the block. Magnifico's just being very hesitant right now offensively. His first thought since being stunned in this fight is protect myself, protect myself. It's like he's turned the off switch on his offense. Yeah, but you can't do that. The lights go off, it gets all dark there. You have Keep to find a way down. to still have that light on. You know, find the window, find the window of opportunity somewhere. They are out there. Be creative. Don't walk into him when I'm throwing a punch. Take a deep breath. Uh, all we need is water up there, and that's it. You don't need that, no. Throw that away. Are you losing this fight? I need you to take some chances now. You have to take a chance with this guy, all right? Back underway here to live fight action. Tough fight to score. Very, very even, closely contested bout throughout. If there was a baseball umpire around, he'd call that a strikeout by Crusher. Fires right back at him. Crusher's using a lot of energy just by throwing so many punches, but he's not getting much out of all this effort at all. No, he's working much too hard. And that's a good point there. He's working really too hard for what he's getting done. He has to now start to educate himself, start to, you know, place those punches in the right spots. Tried to land that upstairs and was off the mark. Well, that was his intention, and that's what he's doing. Not engaging in the fight, but clinching. 
Unload. not able to land the headshot. More punches. <laughs> jab, jab. Halfway through round six. Took some damage, but he gave some back with the right hand. Swift the body. Go. Magnifico's doing something that not everybody appreciates, but he is making his defense a major factor in this fight. Yeah, well, a lot of times people, you know, they only get it done on one end. What I mean about that is, you know, offensively, they use the jab, they use aggression to set up the offense, but he uses defense to set up the offense. He, he has a double-edged sword. End of the round is upon us, and we have a fighter in front of us who just looks gassed. He looks tired. Now, Teddy, what can he do to overcome that when this fight starts back up? Well, first of all, this is where you're searching to those corners that you're not forced to search. Kind of like when you were a kid and your mother told you to clean your room and go into those little nooks and crannies where you never knew there was dirt. Now you got to start looking into nooks and crannies inside yourself. Places you didn't know were there before. You better find them. You better find them quick. You don't need that. I'm going to throw that away. So with the start of this round, we've reached the halfway point. Be interesting to see what we're in store for down the stretch of this fight. And just grabbing on to his opponent. Magnifico is able to avoid that punch. Rusher's killing me watching him here. I mean, he doesn't need a 20 by 20 ring. They could fight this thing in like a phone booth here. No, he looks like one of those cars you see on the side of the road where they removed all the tires, all the <laughs> wheels. He's not going anywhere. Good step back, counter punch there. Beautiful. 90 seconds to go here in this round. Not hitting his mark there, going upstairs. Come on, kid, focus! Watch the hook! And now just wasting away some time with that clinch.
A headshot blocked. Magnifico's employing one of the three facets of a good fundamental defense. And right now he's using the legs. Yeah, he is, and that is one of the facets. The other is to block, the other is to move your head. And right now he's controlling range. What his opponent has to do now is look to get into a place where maybe he can time him. Time him as he steps out. Don't fight going backwards, right? Back him up. Cut the ring off. Back him up and use your feints to cut the ring off. Can't win this going backwards. Back him up. Always use the feint first. I'm always interested in how a fighter's disposition can change during the course of a fight. And as we start round number eight here, you see that he is up. But all it takes is a little momentum to build against him, and this thing could turn around. Well, the real testing of a fighter, the real testing of a professional is what they can do late. Can they keep it up, or do they become satisfied? We're going to find out right now how this guy is in those areas. Nice block by Crusher. Magnifico's got that catch me if you can kind of attitude. He's almost daring his opponent at this point to try to land a headshot. But his movement's been so good. His defense is just supreme. Yeah, it is. He's moving from the waist. He's slipping the straight shots. He's weaving the hooks. He's doing a real magical job in there. But his opponent is making no adjustments at all. 90 seconds to go. Halfway through round eight. Target with that hook. Keep moving. 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 Oh, he just misses with that headshot. Work the body, kid. Body shots. Yeah, good work. Great movement to get away from those punches. Last ten seconds of the eighth round. You're not winning, and you're not losing, kid, but you're not winning. And we have to throw more than this guy. We can pull it ahead, but we got to fight. we got to keep going. You got it? You got to do it. Come on. Good action here tonight. Both guys bringing their best, and both guys meeting each other stride for stride, punch for punch. Tough fight to score here as we're back underway. <laughs> Nine.
not able to connect with the uppercut. Not getting it done with that straight right hand. See, he's got his guard up really well that time, and it protects his head. Ninety seconds into the ninth round. Magnifico's just punching air that time. His opponent was able to get out of the way. Protecting his head well with his guard. And he ties up on the inside. You know, many times we talk about the fact that, hey, at least he's throwing punches, but that's all you can say in this case because he's not landing many. No, they're being blocked or they're missing. They're definitely not landing clean, and you have to give credit to the other fighter being that good defensively. Last 10 seconds of the ninth round. Unable to score with the hook. Right, you gotta let your hands go. You have to. You have to be busy. This this guy is beating the shit out of you. You have to throw. to live action now in what has been a closely contested fight. One of those fights that somebody is still waiting to break through and be a difference maker in. Now just wasting everybody's time holding on. Oh, and he returns fire with a left hand. Good block by Crusher. Relax, relax. Able to show you his blocking ability. Focus! Magnifico's movement's really helping him out, avoiding that punch. Good block by Crusher. And we've reached the halfway point of round 10. Magnifico's giving his opponent headaches here now. He's throwing punches, 
but he's able to block them away. Pace yourself. <laughs> Staying away from those headshots with his defense up top. Unable to connect by Magnifico. Coming to the end of Good round number break. 10, 10 seconds to go. Good block by Crusher. That uppercut absolutely rocked him. Boy, I don't like the way his legs look at all right now. I need to see the combinations from him. All right, let's, let's throw the combinations. This fight is way too close. Let's throw the one, two. Listen, I need to see some counter punches, okay? Whatever he misses, counter. Start of round number 11. Teddy, I peek over at your scorecard. Now we put it up there, and I see Crusher's down in this fight. He still has a chance to win it, though. It's a close fight. You know what he's got to do, Joe, right now to win this fight? not go down the stretch. He's got to go down memory lane. He's got to remember all the things he sacrificed. When his friends were out playing, when they were going out at night, they were having fun. He was in the gym. When his friends were going to the prom, he was in the gym. When they were doing all those things, he was working. He's got to remember that now and bring it home. His opponent wanted the body, he wouldn't give it to him. And he's holding. You can see he's trying to score up top, but off the mark there. Crusher's making me wonder if his legs are really underneath him. Now, he was stunned earlier in this fight, but the non-stop clinching, it's revealing a lot. Yeah, it is revealing a lot. He's not right, he's hurt a little bit, but he could turn it around for an opportunity for himself because he could grab inside and then let go and then all of a sudden sneak, bang, 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 and then grab again. He can find the little opportunity if he can think about that. Ellie ties up there. Rusher's got a way of just getting away from that punch. And clicks of the talk. Keep working the body. Oh, and he's got something for him himself, and it's a left hand. And round 11 comes to an end.
Magnifico's got to be careful not to fall prey to what so many fighters do. Close fight, you may be up, but you may not stay that way. He's getting some sound advice from his cornerman. Let your hands go, okay? You have to let him go, or you're gonna lose this fight. We got it. You need to capitalize. Here it is, the final round of what has been a closely contested battle. with that headshot. Back to the body. <laughs> Magnifico's coming up with the answers, avoiding that punch. Needs to improve the accuracy a little bit. That was comical by Crusher. Keep working the body. Pace yourself. Move your head. Halfway through this 12th and final round. Hugging on the inside. Final minute of this final round of this fight. Tried the hook, didn't get it. One for you now, he says. Right back with the left hand. <laughs> Parries that punch intended for the head. Keep moving. Keep moving. And they will bring it home in the last 10 seconds of this final round. Here's our ring announcer with the results of what was a very, very good fight. Rushers, your winner by unanimous decision, Teddy. Well, the question from the beginning was, could he get inside and make it his kind of fight? He did. Good, enjoyable, entertaining fight it was. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore saying thanks for being with us.